I made a Minecraft mod that makes speedrunning so much easier, but probably not in the way you might expect. In today's video, I tried out this mod and actually used it to speedrun the game, and it was insane. By the way, this is not meant to be a call out to Dream or Drem or anyone that has been accused of faking speedruns in the past. And please don't submit fake runs because it's really not cool. This mod is so crazy that I don't think I could just talk about it like a normal video. I think the best way to show the mod off would be by doing a speedrun of my own with it. So, uh, uh, let's do it. Okay, so we're starting off and the first obvious feature of this mod is the fact that structure generation is cranked up so high. Right off the bat, I already see a ruined portal and a village over there. Another big thing about the mod is the fact that structure chests and loot are so overpowered. Just take a look at this. 19 blocks of gold. I don't have to loot anything else for gold now. That is insane. And this fortune shuffle. I'm gonna be honest. I'm um, not quite sure what I'm gonna do with that. Okay, so literally the first building in this village is a blacksmith. So I'm hoping to get some insane loot from this because of the exaggerated loot generation. All right. Three, two, one. 12 diamonds, 7 obsidian. That is insane. Oh, so here's another blacksmith. I can't wait to see what's in this chest. Okay, well, if, if I'm being completely honest, that's actually, that's actually pretty average loot. Place your bets now. How much iron do you think this big guy is going to give me? Let's see. Oh. <laughs> that is insane. You have to keep in mind that there are so many more features that I haven't covered yet. It's crazy. So make sure to stick around so you see those all. So as you may already know, in standard Minecraft, you can get compasses from these desert temple chests. But with this mod, there's a little bit of a special compass. So let's see if I got it from this temple. And there we go. The special compass. So this compass, the structurometer, will actually point me directly to the stronghold. So whenever I'm ready, I can just follow the direction this is pointing and i will get straight to the end portal and these spawn in the temple chest so here's another one and here's actually two in this chest if you've enjoyed the video so far please remember to leave a like and subscribe because it really helps me out and now we can head into the nether so the exaggerated structure generation continues in the nether so of course we spawn right off the bat into a fortress here but like i just killed two blazes and yeah there we go 26 rods that's all i need i could have killed one blaze i could have killed half a blaze and i'd have all the rods that i need Need. With the exaggerated mob drops, there is one thing I want to try. I'd say probably the rarest mob drop in the game is a wither skeleton skull, which you get for killing one of these wither skeletons. The chance to get one in normal Minecraft is so incredibly low. But like, I just killed one and there's a wither skull right there. First try wither skull. All right, so now I have all of the three wither skulls I need, so I may or may not spawn the wither just for the memes. But first, I had to get ender pearls from trading with piglins. And I think this goes without saying, but uh, yeah. Piglin trades are crazy too. I have legitimately been walking so far to try to find this bastion. Oh, speak of the devil. So I just killed off the brutes, leaving only one piglin left. And he is just sitting here picking up this gold. And every single time he's dropping like a whole load of pearls. This right here was from one gold ingot. So I'm just gonna see how many pearls that is. 16 pearls. That's so many pearls. I guess I can just go back to the overworld now after only needing one gold ingot. And of course, the worst part about going a long way to find something is going a long way to get back. I think I'm gonna spawn the wither because why not? I know that is something you would 100% never do in a speedrun, but this isn't a normal speedrun. All right, time to do what has never been done before. Literally spawning a wither in a speedrun. Three, two, one... And there it is. All right, so the wither is getting really low, but there goes the wither. And with him, he leaves a very disappointing singular nether star. If I was timing this, I could do all of this and still get like world record time. To be completely honest, I'm not really sure why I spawned the wither in the first place. Actually, the only thing it drops is a nether star. And if you know what a nether star is used for, you'd realize how useless it is in a speedrun. All right, so I can go find the stronghold now. Okay, so it seems like it might be around here. Yeah, no, that's definitely like right here. Luckily, I have my trusty golden shovel that will last me about seven blocks. Okay, and now for what I have the worst luck with every single time, finding the actual portal. I'm going to to sacrifice my nether star in exchange for more luck so that I can find the stupid portal. All right, it's time. I feel the same, just as unlucky as before. 
All right, so I am now just about ready to go into the end. Finally time to enter the end and fight the Ender Dragon. Will I survive and beat the game? Uh, in three, two, one, and we're in and very frustratingly not even near the island. All right, so after a ton of mining, because of course, even with all of this crazy luck, I was unprepared. I now should have all the blocks I need to start taking out these crystals. Oh! I really didn't want to have to bring out the final move, but it might end up happening during this fight. Dude, I hate this stupid magic from the dragon. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Okay, why not be risky? <laughs> I guess I'll speed bridge, because that's definitely a good idea. Okay, last crystal. Okay, now's my chance. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. How did I survive that? What? Okay, now's my chance. And... Uh... Oh, I was definitely- No! I was definitely supposed to place blocks! Uh, no. And there you go! I didn't even have the MLG because of that special feature. Watch this. Hit me, dude. Hit me. Come on. Come on. Come at me. I dare you. I I'm not afraid of you, Ender Dragon. You can hit me all you want. Just don't hit me off the void, because totems don't work with the void. I will still die and lose all of my stuff. If you didn't understand what was going on there, whenever I get very, 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 very close to dying, I get a Toto automatically placed in my hand. So basically, I can't die. I think it goes without saying, but that has got to be the most overpowered thing ever. No, 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 no. Okay, so the dragon's getting low now, so hopefully I can finish him off without dying too many times. And there you go. I die and the dragon dies simultaneously. Alrighty, and there you have it. Minecraft completed in probably the most illegal way possible. Okay, well that's gonna do it for this video. If this video gets to 50,000 likes, I will try out this crazy mod in Minecraft Manhunt. Alright, thank you for watching and have a good day.